Have you ever thought to yourself, man, these mascot horror games are fun, but this time I want to be the mascot? Well, now you can. Meet Fret. He was once a real human child, but through the traumatizing result of being a music student in a morally questionable school, he ended up as a guitar. Now, I've been seeing this game teased quite a lot recently, I was even able to play a demo early on. It's insane to see how many talented people are working on this and I have no doubt it's going to be awesome when the full game releases. Seriously, who couldn't love this game where even the name has a triple meaning? Don't fret being a phrase meaning not to worry, however the punctuation suggests it's someone yelling don't towards our protagonist fret. And finally, it's a well orchestrated music pun. What's not to love? Yeah, okay, maybe there's one thing wrong with this game. One of the key objectives in the game is to escape. But I'm here to show you that there's no real way that Fret can escape this. He was doomed from the moment he stepped his oversized shoe into the school. But before we do that, please do subscribe. It's free and you can always unsubscribe later. Subscribing is the best way to support my channel as it allows me to make more videos and helps me reach more milestones. So if you could just check to see that you are subscribed, that would be great. Thank you and back to the video. The game starts off with us seeing who we assume to be Fret's parents arguing. Mara, the mother, sends Fret away to hide in the closet while his dad breaks into the house with a fire extinguisher. We don't quite see what happens, but it leads to Fret waking up in a guitar case in the back of a van, being dropped off right into his school. It's there we get to meet the conductor. He tells us his main job is to look after the students of Harmonic Heights, however his current goal is to orchestrate our escape. He claims that the puppet masters have locked away their star pupil fret in the school because they're after his talent and the only way to escape is to collect talent canisters and give them to the conductor which seems a little bit suspicious but we'll move on we start to learn that kids all around harmonic heights have been going missing one of the main examples so far has been a girl that fret knew rachel a talented girl who he was even partnered up with until she starts acting differently. Getting into arguments with teachers and being sent to the nurses quarters. It seems after that is where she went missing. And then the monsters started showing up. Kids from the boarding school were sent to hide from them, but due to it being a boarding school it made it a bit difficult. Luckily Fret lived close so him and his sister were able to stay home during all this madness. Now we roam the halls looking for a way to escape while running into teachers we'd rather not see again, all in an attempt to find the talent canisters and escape. The demo ends with us running away from Tapehead, only to get grabbed at the very last minute. However, there's a bit more to this game than meets the eye. While this was just a demo, there's a lot to be uncovered due to newspaper clippings, little notes, easter eggs, character designs. So I decided to put it all together, and this is what I've found so far that makes sense in a storyline. So this is my theory on the storyline so far. Fret was born in a family of rather successful people. He is part of a legacy, but that does come with the issue of his parents not really caring about him or his sister's well-being, rather whether or not they have the talent. However, they do get certain advantages like being able to go home while all of the other children had to stay in the boarding school. But I'm also willing to bet that that's because the parents work for the school or at the very least his father works for them. Not only does he come in swinging with a fire hydrant that looks eerily similar to the ones we see around the school, but the fact he's so adamant about getting to the school in the first place, likely for one of the annual recitals that allow students to highlight their talents. But what do you do if your child just isn't talented? Well, Conduct Tech offers a solution. They allow the parents to control the kids' lives and perfect them in a less than ethical way. Fast track your child's success and leave your morals behind with Conduct Tech, pushing the boundaries of medical ethics off a bridge since 1951. Wait, 1951? Conduct Tech was started in 1951, so why is it connected to a school that was created in 1990? That's a 39 year difference between the two operations being opened. But when you think about it, it kind of makes sense. 
Dr. Sharon Reed is a doctor. Her main priority would likely be in conduct tech, so she started it first. But if she wanted to further run the operation, you're gonna need a lot more talent. The school was opened to fuel conduct tech, and we're there to help them. Unintentionally, of course, but we're still going to end up helping them. You see, I think they're going to use Fret's naivety to help benefit them later on. At the beginning of the game, if you send a broken guitar into the fire, you can hear a distant screaming as it fades out. Turns out Fret might not be the only time they've morphed a real person into a product. Could this be how they make the talent canisters? Effectively killing the students in the process? Even then, you can look at the conductor or tape head. They come in similar boxes to ours. The idea that these were real teachers that have been immortalized by using conduct tech is very likely. Especially if you see this school photo with the conductor right in the middle between all these students standing proud. And that reminds me, let's talk about someone you shouldn't trust. The conductor. I know that's really easy to say, don't trust the guy with a cool mask and a cool voice in a video game because the chances are he's going to betray you. But there is some evidence behind this, and it's not the part where he starts maniacally laughing. Although that doesn't actually help his case. The conductor tells us that the puppet masters are after our talent, and they'll do whatever they can to seize it but then he tells us that we need to collect talent canisters to escape and bring them to him. Sorry, what part of that would help us escape? And if we're under the impression that the talent canisters are actually coming from the students at Harmonic Heights, isn't that a little hypocritical on his part? He's accusing others of doing something he's asking us to do right now, steal the talent. He also says that he looks after the students of Harmonic Heights, but could that be the state they're in right now, when they're these monsters? Is he the ones controlling the kids that turn them into monsters and orchestrating them to attack us? It's not like the students don't know who he is, there's a picture of him standing right in front of all of them, all of the ones that were seemingly missing. And finally, the conductor is stuck in the box the moment we meet him. In fact, you almost feel bad for the guy, considering the Don't Fret Twitter account even posted about the fact that the conductor is claustrophobic. You'd feel bad if he had to stay in there. But what if he didn't? Because why is there broken glass right next to the conductor's window? And the lights are also torn down in that section, almost like someone's gotten out and ripped their way through it. At first I thought the broken glass could be from the broken lights, but that wouldn't make much sense due to how the lights look, they don't match the broken glass. But do you know what does match the broken glass? A similar section of broken glass that was right next to the tape head machine. And don't you think it's convenient that he just shows up at the end? Seriously, he was right there when we needed him to make sure to guide us back to what we were there to do. Get the talent canisters for him, and run away from Tapehead. And while a lot of the imagery surrounding Tapehead can be misleading, in one poster we see that she's reaching out for us, and then in the next one she's murdering us, and then it seems that the graffiti on the wall is warning us that she's there, but that doesn't mean we can let the conductor off so easily. He is after the same thing that the rest of them are, the talent, which means they don't want us to escape, they want us to collect the talent from other students. But then, what is our real goal in this game? Why bring us here in the first place if they can get out and collect it themselves anyway? Well, I think that all comes down to Rachel. Because Rachel isn't missing, she's hiding. In the janitor's office, we find a clipboard with a note saying, you're a monster. You let her know too much and now she's missing because of you. It seems that that's the janitor talking to himself. He blames himself for Rachel's disappearance because he warned her. Turns out Rachel may have had a little heads up as to the school's true purpose and instantly escaped the moment she could. Pfft, talk about high strung. <laughs> Get it? Because she's a violinist and high strung is usually when someone's like really paranoid although i guess it's easy to be paranoid if you think people are gonna kill you but like you know it's it's it's, it's violinist pun you should but since them. she escaped before any of them could really do anything about it now none of the teachers can get close to her in order to run their operation fully but do you know who can get close to her 
her classmate. Someone that they know they can control easily. They just need to get him on their side. Which is why they orchestrated this whole setup in the first place. Fret is merely an instrument to their plan. Sorry about this, Fret, but you can't escape. It seems you're the one being played. But what do you guys think? Is it plausible? Feel free to leave your theories in the comments below. Please subscribe if you haven't already and check out the game because it's on Steam right now and I would highly recommend it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!